we are off to the Chagas River. It's a little bit of a tricky entrance with the reefs and the sandbars. You'd be the sweetest goodbye. Give me a heart trip. That is supposed to be completely clear gray mesh. If you are new to our channel and would like to follow our sailing adventures each week, click on the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss an episode. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Alright guys, it is time to leave Puerto Lindo. Finally! <laughs> I'm pretty excited as you can see. We are heading off this morning to the River Chagres. Now this river is just a little bit past the Panama Canal. I'm guessing there's going to be quite a bit of traffic there with all the cargo ships. But once we get through, we will be headed straight into the river. Apparently the entrance is pretty tricky, but once you're in, it should be beautiful. So we cannot wait to get there. Um, it's only about 30 nautical miles from here. So let's get going. You excited that we're off? Yeah, baby. We are off to the Chagas River. Alright guys, five hours down and we are now passing the entrance of the Panama Canal here on the Atlantic side. Um, there are some big boats around. We actually got a massive one passing us right now. I mean, the thing's got to be six, seven hundred feet long. Hey, there she is. It's enormous. There are so many cargo ships around here. It's pretty incredible. I don't think we've seen this many since Malta or the Gibraltar Strait. So, pretty incredible. Um, so yeah, we haven't got far to go. I think maybe a few miles past the entrance of the canal, and we've got the entrance to the Rio Chagres. So. Pretty excited. It's meant to be a little bit of a tricky entrance with some reef and some moving sandbanks, but we'll figure it out when we get there. I don't mind staying up all night Cause I came to get it right And I won't leave without a fire Out in the dark Alright guys, we are entering the Rio Chagres River. It's a little bit of a tricky entrance with the reefs and the sandbars. But we're following somebody in at the moment. I just gotta make a small course adjustment. I just gotta dodge a couple of reefs here. Here we go guys. We are fully surfing down these waves as we enter the river. Check this out. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, here we go. Everyone did say don't try this one if the conditions are a little bit rough, which they're not rough, oh. but we've got some big waves pushing <laughs> us through. And uh, yeah, like some pretty big surf. Like we're surfing into the river. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're giving it a go and hope it all works out for the best. <laughs> Unable to feel. We've been down this road before. Like the boat's going side to side right now. This is actually the first time Zephyr has entered a river. <laughs> and we have to do some weird um, turns in here. Like now we're turning, but it looks like we're like right by the reef. So, um, but yeah, we have to turn and then turn again quickly because of the sandbanks. So, yeah, I don't know. It just seems really out of place to be doing this. But I just, I can see the flat water. So we just gotta get in there and then we'll, we're safe. But this bit is, yeah, it's no joke, is it? No. So the flat water is literally just there. We're so close. I know what I'm hoping for. I know all your secrets. And I know that you know mine. When I tell you all my worries. When I tell you. James cheering for joy 
Chloe because he was scared at one point. <laughs> so now you can just see that the stress is just boom. Well, we are through into the crocodile infested waters here. You can keep going about three miles up the river towards the dam, um, which connects it with the lake which I can't remember the name, but it's the lake that you cross into when you're doing the Panama Canal. So it does connect there, and you can go all the way in up to that point. Um, and they said it's a little bit noisier there because then you can hear all the ships uh, going through the canal day and night. Anyway, this is so peaceful in here already. Um, oh, so excited. All right guys, so we made it to the Rio Chagras and we are in our anchorage, but uh, we had a bit of a problem coming in, which is, we've had this happen once before. So anybody that followed us and saw our Malta episode would have seen when we crossed from the Peloponnese in Greece to Malta, we had these uh, hesitations that started developing in the engine. It was almost like it was stalling and uh, it certainly was indicative of like uh, um, the engine struggling to get fuel. And when we were in Malta, we cleaned the fuel senders. Um, I'm not sure if that's the right term, but it's essentially the pipe that goes into the tank where the fuel is sucked up and sent off to the engine. Um, and these have like a sort of a mesh filter around them. Um, and those had gotten really clogged through some bad diesel we had last time. Well, when we were coming in like to the Rio Chagras here, literally just after the most trickiest dangerous section, and thank God it didn't happen then, we had that hesitation uh, happen and it actually stalled the boat. Um, fortunately, we were in a safe part of the river and we managed to restart the engine. Um, and we'd had a couple of hesitations earlier prior to the river. I'm going to open it up now and let's have a look, but I'm pretty confident they're going to be absolutely blocked. All right, here we go. I've already undone the bolts, so let's have a look here. I'll just try and work that back. Wow, look at that. That is supposed to be completely clear gray mesh and as you can see it's totally built up it's almost like a tire on top of that so we are going to clean all of that off and that should stop the problem of the hesitation it did last time there must have just been enough that the fuel was slightly getting through but not enough so as you can see look at that it's like a spongy tarry rubber wow well good morning guys it is our first morning on the Rio Chagres River and that was probably the most comfortable night we've ever had on the boat. The great thing about the river is it's got a little bit of current so the boat just stays dead straight the whole time. And I don't know what to say, look at this. Tell me this isn't the most coolest thing you've ever seen. the ripples would make you notice me, notice me, and now you're here, sunlight on the We are leaving today, which is really sad because it's such a beautiful place, um, but we thought we'd, before we left, quickly do a run upstream, check out the end, like closest to where the ships are and then turn around and we will be leaving through that dodgy entrance which today looks much better we just flew the drone to check it out and we will be heading to Bocas. Bocas next I think we're gonna stop at a couple of islands before we'll check them out and we'll take you, you guys along with us anyway <laughs> so yeah let's see what this has to bring So this is where the pirates, this river is where the pirates would hide out. Um, <laughs> gotta concentrate on driving. Uh, they would hide out in here with, waiting for the big merchant ships to come this way and then they would like leave the river and attack them. It's just crazy to think that we're in this river as well. And 
Yeah, insane. Goodbye river. Well, hello ocean. Goodbye river. Oh, so amazing. This has got to be the highlight of Panama. We thought San Blas was amazing, but this is just crazy, like coming into a river. Those are some people. <laughs> Good morning! We are just arriving into the island. So this is the island right here. It looks beautiful and so so different from the San Blas Islands. Uh, we've got dolphins playing at the bow and we have about half an hour to get there. Celestial bodies, oh, oh. Celestial bodies, celestial bodies, oh, oh. Celestial bodies, celestial bodies, oh, oh. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr. If you would like early access to weekly videos, bonus content, and free merch, click the Patreon logo here. This journey is only made possible thanks to our amazing patrons.